Okay, so continuing on the geo theme, <laughs> we also have a very exciting new solution for importing dynamic generated population data straight into DHS2. So this is a new solution that's built on top of the Google Earth Engine. We have been supporting Google Earth Engine for quite a while. It's essentially a vast catalog of geospatial data that's available and made available by, by Google. So in 239, we can now basically generate and import population data dynamically for DHS2 organisms. Um, this is dynamically calculated in real time in Earth Engine based on the world pop data sets. Um, so it essentially works by uploading the DHS2 organisms with the geometry as associated with the organisms. And then Earth Engine will look at the geometries and then basically calculate the population data in real time based on those geometries, based on the world pop data sets. Um, and once Earth Engine is, is, is done computing those numbers, we can then import them back into DHS2 as raw data. So we can take it back into DHS2 as normal data elements and data values. And this is quite powerful because, of course, then it allows for use in indicators, in analytics, in dashboards, in maps, and every you know, other wonderful thing you can, you can do with DHS2. So once again, if you don't have reliable population data, or you would like to have kind of a, a second set of population data, you can now automatically calculate this in, in Earth Engine. Yeah. OK, so this is found in the import export app under the Earth Engine import uh, item. So we can have a super quick look at this. We go to the Earth Engine imports. Um, we can select data set. We, su we support the population and population age group uh, separated data set. We do also plan to add more data sets. We load this one. This takes a second because it goes to Earth Engine over the over the internet. Um, so it takes a couple of seconds. You can select the year, so whatever census or population data set you would like to use, and we can then say, "I would like to import this for the for the chiefdom level or the district level." And we can say, "Use associated geometry," which means, do you want to use the default geometry for the organet, or do you want to use one of those attributes of GeoJSON type, as we talked about? We can say none, um, and then we can we can decide which data element to use for this. So we can say, I would like to import this data for the population data element from Earth Engine, which is kind of a made up name. Uh, but you can have multiple sets of population data now in these two. We can then preview. This takes a while. Um, I'm not going to click this now, but then you can preview and then import this data straight into these two. Check it out. Quite cool, and we hope you will find this uh, useful. This is how the preview looks. And then finally, you click imports. Yeah. 